documentary of the Right Reverend Dr. Peter O.J. Imaswe, MFRO JP, former CAN Chairman Edo State, former CCN Chairman Edo State, former Pregrim Welfare Board Chairman Edo State. Who is Right Reverend Dr. Peter O.J. Imaswe? He is a man of three parts, clergy by calling, farmer by profession, and herbalism by passion. A true African, proud Nigerian, outstanding son of the Doe State, Bishop Diocese of Benin Anglican Communion. Reverend Dr. Peter Osayomabo Joshua Imaswe, MFRO JP, was born on 5th July 1961 into the family of Pa Joshua O. Imaswe, who hails from Ikbuba Oha local government area of Edo State, Nigeria. I was born in my grandmother's place, Atoza. Uh, so from Oza, we now move to Dumez Road. But my original place is from Amufi. So that is where my grandfather came from. And so that place has been a very uh, unique place for me. He attended Idioto Primary School, Benin City, where he obtained the primary school living certificate. Right from my primary school, it's not the one they see today. Uh, at that time, we carried this slate. This slate is like as big as this one. Uh -huh. We write on it, and uh, the teacher will also mark. When we use white to write, they use red to mark the, this thing, and we carry it to the house uh, to see whether we have done well or not. So, and at that time, they, there is no shoe. We go with barefoot uh, to the school, and we come back, uh, my father is a carpenter, so immediately I come back, I have to prepare this, uh, the one, the bini called Ijoko, that is that small, small chair. Uh, I will prepare it and go to sell it to sustain the family. So that built me up. I built the family. He was admitted to Ohi Grammar School in Umonde local government area of Edo State and later transferred to Ogede Secondary School in Ovia Northeast where he obtained the West African School Certificates. He developed interest in agriculture and eventually got admission to College of Agriculture, Amwae and Maike Opara College of Agriculture, Oweri, where he obtained the National Diploma in General Agriculture and Higher National Diploma in Animal Health and Production, respectively. He had his PGDPA and Certificate in Criminology. He has a master's degree in public administration from Delta State University, Abraka. As a child born into a Christian family, he was a Sunday school teacher, a member of Agrican Youth Fellowship, Scripture Union of Nigeria and Boys Brigade, Gideon's International, etc. As a mark of honor to his call to priesthood, he enrolled at the St. Michael College of Theology, Bedin City, and on completion of his curse, he was made deacon in 1994 and priested in 1996. He resigned his appointment as a civil servant and became a full-time priest. As many would ask, when did Right Reverend Dr. Peter O.J. Imaswe give his life to God and answer the pastoral call? Because I came from a Christian home, I didn't know God. But because we are from Christian home, when we come back, we pretend to be Christians, which many of our people now embrace. Uh, but it was not really true. So until I met Christ, after many years of being a religious person, I met Christ and Christ turned me around. 
and that was where I started seeing the handwork of God in my life, in my ministry. Uh, I've served God for 28 years in the ministry. Apart from the one I serve as a Sunday school teacher, in order to enhance his knowledge as a priest, the Right Reverend Dr. P. O. J. Imaswe, MFROGP, attended Emmanuel College of Theology, Ibadan, an affiliate of the University of Ibadan, where he obtained a diploma in theology. He was preferred archdeacon in 2003. When the Bini Diocese Episcopate became vacant as a result of retirement of incumbent bishop in 2003, the then, then POJ Imaswe was elected bishop by the College of Bishops of the Church of Nigeria, the Anglican Communion, in 2003. To Today, the Right Reverend Dr. P. O. J. Imaswe, MFRO, holds another master degree in divinity from Crowder Graduate Theological Seminary, Igbin Abelkota, by dint of hard work. He had obtained the doctorate degree in ministry. He was awarded in national honor of MFRO by Mr. President Dr. Goodluck Jonathan in 2013 and a JP. It is the dream of every young man on getting to the age of bachelorhood to settle down with a wife of his dream. So how did he meet his beloved wife, Ambassador Mrs. Gladys Omo Imaswe, JP, President, Mother's Union Women's Guild, Girls' Guild and Girls' Brigade Diocese of Benin Anglican Communion, former chairperson Wu Khan and Wu CCN. Yes, 1991, just started December 1991. We met in a cathedral one fateful Sunday where he was taking the Sunday school. I just saw a young man walk to me and uh, ask about my name. Reluctantly, I told him and uh, he wanted to know where I lived. So my little niece that was with me, gave him all the description that he needed. When I saw her, I felt like what uh, this man of God said. He said, this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. So I knew that this is the, the person God has given to me. Yes, after then we got married 14th uh, July 1992. God also helped me and gave me a good wife. That woman is the one that encouraged me in this ministry. We are 30 years in this marriage, and I'm very happy that God has sustained us. At the ninth year of the ordination, he was elected a bishop, and as record would have it, he is the longest serving bishop in the Diocese of Benin. Being elected in 2003 and up till date, he is still serving by the grace of God. Different people have different definition and description of the man who we are celebrating, having come in contact with him at different times. I first met him for the first time in uh, 2007. I'm a parishioner in uh, St. John's uh, Anglican Church, College Road, Benin City. The celebrant has been a friend of over 30 years. I knew him in the Anglican uh, diocese in Bini. So I met him a long time ago in the church and um, very unassuming and I, I saw him then as a common Christian, young, versatile and very promising. Hence. I was not surprised when he was uh, made the bishop. 
I want to say specifically that Bishop Peter Emaswe is a brave man, courageous man, somebody who is a, a goal setter, a pace setter, somebody who is determined whenever he is pursuing a goal. My way of looking at a bishop of a diocese, which he is, he's the bishop of the diocese of Benin, is to see how the synod um, assembly has fed all through its time, since 2007. Because the synod assembly is the highest organ of the church of diocese, which can make pronouncements and, uh, and uh, do what we call a uh, community as to how the, the, the diocese was being run. And throughout from 2007 to this very time, I have been so impressed. I see him as a, as a perfect gentleman. He's, uh, his outlook is very amiable. Uh, he's somebody who's so uh, uh, respectful. He sees me till the time I knew him till, till tomorrow. He accords me the respect that is due me. He's, and he's always full of smiles. You know, he greets me in, a, in our dialect. Domosa, domosa, you know. Till tomorrow. Uh, I think that's part of the discipline I've seen in him. The bishop is a dogged man, a fighter, a man of faith, a man of wisdom. And I pray that the good Lord continue to uphold him because we are learning from him. This is a man that is focused. He insists on perfection and is very humble. Um, he preaches the word. He expects you to apply yourself to the job in utmost tenacity, in accordance with the rules. So he instills discipline. He is vivacious, inventive, savvy in all spiritual matters, and also in family matters. He's a humble and compassionate man who has knack to develop himself and also develop others. When he became bishop, he had his HND in animal husbandry by training, and I think a diploma in theology from Emmanuel College. But today, he went for his first degree. He did his master's. I think he has two master's. And he went for his doctorate. If there is need for one to come back again, that I still plead that God should still make him my husband because he has really been a lovely person. Like Elias said, Right Reverend Dr. Peter O.J. Imaswe is a clergy by calling. He is a wonderful farmer who delights in attending to both his animal and crop as hobby and profession. What are his achievements and what changes has he brought to the Diocese of Benin Anglican Communion? Sincerely, he has brought a lot to the Diocese of Benin. In terms of infrastructural development, he built the lock-up store. The hospital, St. Matthias Hospital today is functioning. He, most of the things he did, he didn't want to do it. He bought an ultra scan in that same hospital. He built the bishop's court where he lives presently and the office, a, a two-story building. He built that one. Now he's building a school again in the bishop's court. In terms of development in many of the parishes, you observe that our parishes have had new look. Expansion of the altar, open of gallery, building of new parishes, bought new lands for the church. We have increased in terms of our numbers of parishes we have since he became a bishop. So he has been a blessing to the Dowsers of Benin generally. 
he has made a lot of advancement in the diocese. Uh, the maternity hospital has been expanded and is doing well. They have a women guest house built near the, within the uh, bishop's court. There's a bishop uh, ch uh, chapel in the, in the bishop's court. Um, he has expanded the, the cathedral, St. Matthew's Cathedral in Sokoba Road. He's expanding the Christendom, building churches, evangelizing souls, and ensuring that we humans, our souls, get saved. But here again, you still find Bishop Imasuen as an author. When the Lord Bishop became Bishop, by the grace of God, something unique happened. Before now, you hardly no clergy working within the diocese because everyone was uh, restricted to his parish and I degree. But when he became bishop, he brought the entire clergy together to be having monthly meeting and with that we could easily see ourselves know one another irrespective of your parish and irrespective of the adjective where you are serving we all come together monthly which uh, is something still be practiced in now as a bishop of uh, Benin diocese there have been a lot of harmony you know, discipline amongst the the the, the, uh, the clergymen they are doing very well. There's one individual who I see he impacts the discipline. He learns from home on his uh, followership. a man of many parts and also has passion for herbs. He respects tradition and has so much love for God. He has collections of books published on different important subjects. First, a guide to funeral rites of the Benin people. This reconciled rights and responsibility. Second, animal health and husbandry. A 392-page text, a good reference material to consult by all actors in the livestock production business in Nigeria. Third, another interesting book by the bishop is Introduction to African Traditional Religion, ATR, a book that has a pride of place in the study of the religion of the world. Fourth, the last but not the least, Grasscotta, Snail and Fish Farming in Africa, Nigeria, amongst others. What is the secret behind these books? To educate people and to carry them along because a knowledge that is not shared is a dead knowledge. How would you describe your wife after 30 years of marriage? Before I became a bishop, the name I used to call her is my honey. Uh, but when I became a bishop, the name changed to mama. Uh, she became mama. Mama is the mother of the child. So no matter my position, She's my mother. How would you describe your husband after 30 years of marriage? I will describe him as a no-nonsense person. He's somebody that loves standing on the truth 
and fighting the cause. He's somebody that you cannot push here and there. He will always tell you the truth about any matters. And uh, he's also somebody that uh, loves the things of God. He loves people. He wants people around him. He loves seeing people. He loves encouraging people. He loves, he's a good giver. At 61, Nigeria at home and in diaspora and the Anglican family at large celebrates a father they love so much. I, Venerable Moses Onowuke, Vicar of St. Matthew's Cathedral, Benin City, wish to congratulate our Lord Bishop and his wife, the Right Reverend Dr. and Ambassador Mrs. Peter O.J. Imaswe, MFRO JP, as they mark their 30 years uh, in marriage, 28 years in pastoral ministry, and uh, at the same time, the birthday of his lordship, which uh, we, we have also seen that as he marked this uh, great feat, he has written two books for uh, the public, for blessing of the public. So we thank God for his life. Hi, Honorable Justice Samson Odevinge Owaifu, C-O-N, former Justice of the Supreme Court. Wish you a very happy birthday. Uh, and um, more, more years in good health. I wish him a very successful uh, life, productive life. Uh, he's a successful uh, married man. The wife has played a very big role in his life too. He's a mother of all, always smiling. Like I described him, he, he falls into that category of uh, humility. You know, and uh, he blends his uh, traditional medical, uh, you know, experience into his uh, um, everyday life. That does not even affect uh, his uh, call to uh, to his profession as a clergyman. He has always been. Uh, uh, a man that uh, we are all very proud of. For his uh, launching his book, this is not his first book. He has a, he wants to impact his knowledge on everyone. A successful person, disciplined person. It's, uh, it's a good man to work with because uh, his presence is uh, full of joy. It's not one person that looks down on any person. Again, it's a very, it's a, it's a disciplinary too, which I like in him. So the Almighty Lord will continue to bless him. I, Victor Edos, Abamoyi, and family, uh, wish to uh, first felicitate and wish our Lord Bishop, Bishop P.O.J. Imaswen, happy anniversary, happy uh, wedding anniversary, and happy 28 years in the ministry. To congratulate my mentor, my father, the dogged fighter, a man of God, the right reverend Dr. P.O.J. Imaswen Mefaro J.P., his 61st birthday, on his 30th year in marriage, and 28 years in the ministry. I wish you, Right Reverend Dr. Peter O.J. and Ambassador Mrs. Gladys O. Imaswe, Sixty-first birthday of our bishop and 
28 years in the ministry of the Lord. I, Venerable T.E. Odaro, wish to congratulate the bishop on this auspicious occasion of the 28th year of his, uh, of his uh, ministry and 30 years of his marriage. And he has also written books for all to look at and for the future pastoral, social psychology, pastoral psychology, they are involved, the educational psychology, they are out there that he has written. So God will continue to prosper him and enable him and strengthen him so that in the days ahead, he will find refuge. I want to congratulate my dear husband, my honey, for his 61st birthday anniversary. I thank God for his life. I thank God for all that he has been doing, for the encouragement and all. I pray that the Lord Almighty will grant him many more years, and he will retire in good health and in God's grace. I wish both of us happy anniversary in Jesus' name. Congratulations, Right Reverend Dr. Peter O.J. Imaswe, MFRO JP. May the good God keep you healthy and strong as you serve him in the vineyard. Amen. borders have now been reopened. FX Executive, with over 14 years in Ghana, has resumed daily bus travel to Ghana from Benin City.